As the bard plucked at his lute, he lamented this was not the crowd he had hoped to be performing in front of when he first found his talent of voice. Destiny was never that kind to place you where you dreamed to be. Spending time at small town taverns, he played the bawdy tunes that these tight-fisted hams enjoyed full of euphemisms about the Lord's undersized rooster. He made them laugh and slap their knees and kept them drinking. The tavern did not pay a travelling minstrel well, despite the increase in revenue he brought in, and he was dependent on tips for his performance. So keeping the louts happy had to always be the priority. But these crowds only ever wanted to hear uncouth tales of wenches and knights, the stuff most discerning people grew out of once they hit puberty. And the bard had to admit, it was starting to drive him a little crazy. Unfortunately, his personal circumstances meant he wasn't able to play in the larger cities. His lineage prevented it. To be fair though, he was lucky to be alive considering. His affliction wasn't completely noticeable, but a trained eye could see it. So he resigned himself to make a living out of lords losing their pants, ladies blushing and fainting, heroes questing. It was also bland. If only he could play one song, just one that had feeling, just one song with meaning and emotion beyond making the inebriated choke on their cheap ale, he might make it through the week with his sanity intact. The bard looked at the roasted chicken a patron had treated themselves to and his stomach complained. He was hungry, but he was always hungry and eating too much would only draw attention. So the bard plucked his lute gently. He mused over which song to play next. Screw it, he thought. Why shouldn't he play a decent song? Even if it was to heathens. He decided he would play a very old song. He would be shocked if anyone in violin had even heard it. But it was a sad tale of a people driven from their homes by hatred. <laughs> kicked in hunting footprints in the snow the hunt is not surprised that the footprints hardly show a hate filled arrow is shot from a bow now they're food for the crows boy pretty boy an old lout yelled over the bard's tune he slammed his drink down on the table, spilling half of it over his arm, but didn't seem to notice. Don't play that swilling here. Nobody believes in them pointy-eared bastards. So just play a song the ladies can dance to. Or I might have to take you home to me bed tonight. This brought forth raucous laughter from the crowd. The bard was momentarily stunned the old man had heard the song, let alone knew what it was about. He self-consciously adjusted his hat, sighed deeply, and began to play the disappointing rooster again. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Tried a couple of new things there, so I hope that was a little bit of fun for you all. Here we are back in the build for the tavern. I made the decision with these two buildings here that this would be the older style of building. This used to be the great hall where town meetings and things took place, but it's been converted into a dingy sort of a tavern. As we go in here, we can see it's a pretty dark sort of area. You can imagine the type of patrons that this would pull in. The owners of the establishment don't invest a lot of money into the space. They literally just see it as a massive money maker for themselves. We've utilized Victory Modern Conquest here to really create a nice atmosphere. We've got the stage up there that the bard would be playing from. We've got all the little drinks all over all the tables. If we go behind the bar here, we can see there's actually a group of daggers there in case things get messy, the bartenders can sort things out. In here is the kitchen area where they cook a little bit of food. You've got a little bit of storage as well. I'm really happy with how the atmosphere turned out with this build. It really feels like that dive bar that we've all been to and you know that your feet sort of stick to the floor. We've got the sleeping arrangements for the in part of the build. It's all open sort of space, sleeping quarters, and they've got a bit of a cards game going there on the table. 
but there's not really a hell of a lot of privacy. I like the little detail of the tapestry that's been hung on the wall. It's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, starting to thread just in the corner there. We've got the water closets here in the corners with the flies stinking over them and some herbs put above to try and sort of suppress the smell a little bit. If we walk into here, we've got the nicer room. It's still a shared room, but you get a little bit more security with it. With like your cupboards and things like that and a little bit to, little bit to eat. This is the expensive place you would stay if you just wanted something a little bit more private. If we come into here, this is where the tavern owners actually live. They've got a little galley type kitchen with a table and chairs just here. I really like this conquest table when you're butted up against walls in spaces like this. I think it fits really well. Hangs off that wall a little bit further. I think it looks really nice. If we go up the stairs here, we've got their master bedroom. We've used the Victory Mod bed system here with a bit of a fancier four post bed. We've got the washing stand from Victory Mod as well. A little table where the owners might record their takings for the day. And an actual nice tapestry on the wall here as well. Not a lot done to the outside area until we start building and planning some of those other spaces. The blacksmith up here and we've got some housing coming into this space as well. We can't really do too much to it. I'm really happy with how the town is growing and the additions that we've been making in this series. If you have been enjoying these episodes, please let us know by liking the video. That's pretty much it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the story and the build as well is, is coming along really, really nicely. Hopefully we'll see you all back for the next episode. All right, thank you.